Welcome to a video. What animal best fits your personality? Have you ever wondered that? I've, I've wondered that, which is why I'm making a video about it. It's at animalinyou.com. And it's been seen on CNN, CBS, Dr. Phil, wow. Now, if you want to know what your animal personality is, you take this test because you are stupid. Some of these tests don't have many options at the end, but this one has 50 different animals that you could be. Man, how angry do people get when they get snaked? They're like, I'm a snake, come on, man. I have my coffee in my lap, I just spilled it on myself. Just let me guess, before I take the test and whatever, which one am I gonna be? I, you know, I think I might be Maybe a prairie dog. You know, cause I like, I get out there and I bark like a prairie dog sometimes. I just like look around and go, rah, rah. That's what they do, right? Too bad there's not like a tufted tit mouse on here. Cause I would think that would be the best one to get. And then we could look at some celebrities. Wow, celebrities took this test? Dude, Adrian Brody is a bird. And I think they're really just making fun of his nose there. What are the questions on this test? How big is your nose? Is it really big? Uh, okay, you're just this bird with a big beak, okay? Owen Wilson is a hawk? Wow. wow. Wow, oh wow. Oh wow, Snoop Dogg is a dog. I'm starting to question the authenticity of these celebrity results. What type am I gonna get? What, 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 uh, uh, let's just take the test, man. How uh, physically big are you? As opposed to how mentally big are you? How, <laughs> how emotionally big are you? And it ranges from, I'm quite small and petite. Some people call me fun size. <laughs> to I'm extra large and in charge. Large Marge sent me. Large Marge sent me. You know, I'll just go, I'm somewhat bigger than most people because what does that even mean? Most people, you compare me to people from the 1500s, I'm a giant. How aggressive are you? Well, I think we can all agree I am not aggressive at all. So I'll just put immediately, I avoid confrontations and accommodate others as much as possible. Sociability. I, I'm self-contained. I keep to myself. I'm a lone wolf. Ooh, could the wolf be my type? How attractive do you think you are? Who on earth do you think you are? A superstar? Well, right you are. Are you, are you a dog in a wig? Be honest. It says in all caps. It's saying, hey, you ugly people, don't lie. Don't lie, you know you ugly. Adrian Brody, you know you got a big nose. Just say it, okay? You know, I'm not gonna be typical YouTuber, narcissistic, oh, I'm so great, I'm the best. I'm gonna knock myself down a peg and say, I'm sure I'm above average. <laughs> it's weird, because I think I was a very late bloomer, so I'm still in the mindset of, I'm ugly. But from the evidence of comments I've gotten, maybe not. Number five, creativity. Are you like this monkey or whatever, orangutan? I don't wanna be offensive here and assume his species. Playing the rock guitar. I'm gonna be realistic here and say, I'm pretty good at coming up with new creative ideas, but I'm not like crazy off the wall. Although maybe I just underestimate myself. I don't know, maybe this quiz is trying to teach me that I should reach for the stars. Six, selflessness and cooperation, or cooperation if you're stupid. What's your philosophy of co co I almost said it. <laughs> I make fun of people and then I almost said it. What's your philosophy of cooperation? Many animals rely on their teammates to help them survive while others have a me first approach. And it goes from I'm very compassionate and usually put the needs of friends and family above my own to someone has to look out for number one, call me selfish, but a friend in need is a pain in the A. Wow. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. I'm cooperative and willing to help friends, but I have my own life too, man. I have my own life sitting in my room making YouTube videos and not talking to anybody and letting the garbage pile up for days before I take it out. Wow, this test is so much fun. It really makes me want to smash the like button. Don't you think so? How intelligent are you? Well, as you can see by the fact that I'm wearing glasses that don't have lenses, I'm very smart. Are you a curious animal eager to investigate the world or do you just, uh, uh, so it ranges from the dumb dumbs who say, I try not to think too much about things. It makes my head hurt. Although as I say that, I'm like, yeah, I don't think much about things. Or I have a bit of a nerd streak and love intellectual challenges. I score pretty high on Jeopardy. Well, that's true. Although I tried out, I, did, I took the Jeopardy online test. 
never heard back from them. If you'd give me a chance, Jeopardy people, if you'd stop keeping that gate so tightly and let your boy in, I could be on there. I could be the next Ken Jennings, for all you know. How athletic are you? Not at all. I occasionally, <laughs> I occasionally watch exercise on TV. Does that count? But you know what? I've been getting more into it. I've been lifting some weights, whatever. I like to keep fit. This, these, I, these answers are not really nuanced enough for me. I'll put it in the middle because it's not my top priority, but I'm trying to stay sort of not morbidly obese. Impulsiveness. The last question. We're so close to seeing what animal fits my personality. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to go to the extreme. I'm always deliberate and cautious. And I'm being, I'm being very deliberate as I hit my answer. A brief pause for loading. <laughs> I'm an owl! <laughs> and, I'm wearing, I'm <laughs> and I'm wearing the glasses, man, which makes me look a bit more like an owl. Dude! Owl characteristics, eloquent, sincere, conservative. Conservatively with the glasses. Scientific name, Tito Alba. Just call me Tito Alba. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Tito Alba, nice to meet you. So here are the careers and hobbies that I need to have now that I know my scientific animal personality. Teacher, bank manager, judge, diplomat, and then the hobby should be reading, debating chess philosophy. <laughs> Debating? Can you imagine Frank James debating something? Sorry, what is my name now? Tito Alba? I'm also terrible at chess. When I was in high school, I joined the chess club for a short period of time, and I remember playing with this kid, and this other kid came over and was like, This guy, he's so stupid. Talking about me. He's so stupid. Just finish him. Finish him off. Ooh, let's see who my best mates are. The bat the fox, another owl, or the tiger. That is a, you know, the tiger and the owl, it's an odd couple, but you know what? I'll allow it. This is awesome. This has really inflated my ego and given me a pat on the back. So that's it. I'm an owl. Call me Titus Alba. And in the comments section, take the test. Let me know what you got. Thanks for watching. Once again, this video is sponsored by Coffee. Till next time, stay cool and attractive. If you want to own some of these cool designs to wear on your own body, the link is in the description. You can be repping your favorite YouTube channel, which is this one.